What did you say? I said that I'm gonna get so rich off TikTok. They're gonna make an in-home gym, so you won't have to go anywhere and work from home. So you'll work at home, work out at home, not go anywhere, but be at home. So no one can see you. I'm here with Alicia. Are you single? Yes. Do you find me attractive? No. Swear down, rate me out of ten. Zero. Are we gonna skip the lying part and do the actual video? Look at you. Go on, look at me. Don't look too much, you know, you might fall in love. Don't tell me what to do. You're a good six and a half out of ten. So what's my chances of bagging you? You're looking at my lips an awful much, you know, up here, yeah? Don't tell me what to do, for one. You're not tall enough, so, mm. sadly. What's the minimum height a guy has to be to date you? Six three. You see them things on Instagram that the man I'm trying to shot these little hill inflators? Might be an investment still. Alright, cool, I'm six three. What's my chances now? When you get six three, let me... Hold at me. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> she wants a guy who's six foot three. But she has a six foot three gum line. Golly, who let the horse out of its barn? He needs some milk. <laughs> Message me when you get to six three. Don't mean you nervous. No, the camera does. You're really not a good liar, you know. What's your favorite body part on a guy? The eyes. Cool, give us a slap. Who are you? No, in Jeffrey. <laughs> slap. Uh, slap me down. You chose slap, so slap like a bad man. Don't tell me what to do. So kiss or slap? I just slapped you. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't hurt me. You didn't. You caressed my face. Okay, so what now? Do sign about it. Alright, let's go now. <laughs> do, sign, do sign about what? <laughs> this girl was trying to make this man mad. She was trying to throw him off his game. But he deflected with great charisma and great charm. Now, this girl is really attractive, but her attitude made her a 2 out of 10. You see, ladies, you can't have a Beyonce attitude when you got a face like Morgan Freeman. Tell me something that your mom doesn't know about you. That I have foursomes with my husband. <laughs> That's him? Yeah. Uh, come. Foursomes, like, it's got to be a couple on couple thing. I'm back in there. Well, why foursomes and not threesomes? Well, we have threesomes every day. Okay, it's just like she said foursomes specifically. Yeah, that's that, we just come in! <laughs> so this guy's name is... Chris. And Chris is officially living my dream. Can you tell me something your mom doesn't know about you? I don't think she knows I got arrested 24 times in the last 26 months. Ah, it's a little bit below one a month, so you're, we're not doing bad. When that goes above one a month, we've got a problem, Chris. It is a big problem. Now here's the riddle of the day. Why does this girl have foursomes with her husband? I want you guys to look at the gap between her teeth. There will always be space for another man. Why do you think men care so much about body count? It shouldn't matter. Why? Because I feel like that's in the past. You know, as long as you're clean and you're moving forward with like a clean state of mind, you know, clean heart, pure intentions, it's good. It's good. Hell no, to the no, 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 hell to the no. So currently you have a man mm -hmm. and some side Pose. It's like background <laughs> characters. She's wearing a cross necklace because she is so pure. More like a pure curry. Gobbler. Gobbler. I feel like they just like someone who hasn't been on the streets like that. Like doesn't go around, get passed around, you yeah. know? Someone who has a little respect for themselves. Now remember this, promiscuity is easy for a woman. And remember, what comes easy never lasts. And what comes easy does not demonstrate any kind of value. Big dick energy. Mm. Big dick energy. Big dick energy. I don't like this term big dick energy or small dick energy. Because everyone's about body positivity, right? How are we gonna talk about men who have desirable characteristics have big dicks, and men who have undesirable characteristics have small penises? There are some wonderful men with small penises and some terrible men with big dicks. Women can willy-nilly throw out big dick energy, small dick energy. If I started throwing out loose pussy energy as a term to describe someone, that was undesirable in some way, I would get canceled. But loose pussy energy, bro, you get in trouble you say that shit. Mm, there's other terms to use. Cavernous vag energy? Cavernous vag. Anyway. 
you guys see the double standard because the majority of women and like the majority of feminists, they only want things that benefit them. But when it doesn't work out for them, they blame men. Last that question. Trash, that's it. Last question. Do you consider yourself a traditional woman? Oh my God. No. 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 If a man says he wants a woman who is pure with a low body count, what do you say to that? Suck a fucking dick, you pussy bitch. <laughs> Double Who do you guys think cheats more, men or women? Women. Why do you say women? I know way more girls that have cheated on their boyfriends than guys. Girls are sneaky. You guys are we better are. at it. We're better at it. Have you done it? No, never. So how do you know you're better at it? I have too many friends who have. Now, if a girl hangs out with friends who cheats, according to the book of King Bustanut, section Thoughtaladians, it states, one plus one is two. If she hangs out with hoes, by definition, she's one, two. Your marriage and why we're here today. Your Honor, I do everything in my power to make my marriage work. Everything. Right? I try to dress up real nice for him. I try to keep my house clean, proper, the kids maintained. That's not correct, Hang on. I even get dressed up really sexy for this man. And you know what he does? Nothing. Nothing at all. He leaves me there alone, falls asleep and does nothing to satisfy you sexually, emotionally, physically, at all. At all. Now, Mr. Gibson, she says you're turning up light on the loving. What's, the, what's, what's your response to that? I, she's addicted to sex, Your Honor, I swear. It's, she wants it 24 hours a day, You said she's days. addicted? Yes, it's, it's never enough Your Honor, for I her. have to chase him around. Stop, hang on, hang on. <sighs> but this one time, Your Honor, I, on our anniversary, I take her out, Nice dinner, buy her flowers, candy, come back home, you know, make love. Mm -hmm. I take my time, nice and sweet, and finish. You know, I still have to go to work the next morning, and I have to get up early for work. So she has, you know, I roll over. She asks, can we do it again? I'm, she's thinking more sex. I'm thinking Gatorade and sleep. Okay. And so anyway, I get up and go to the kitchen, get something to drink, and, you know, she starts fighting with me, of course, because... She wants it again. She locks the door, won't let me back in the room. I end up sleeping on the couch that night, Your Honor. Your Honor, M he miss, go ahead. He don't, nothing. There is five seconds is not enough for me. Don't touch it. Don't even look at it. Go on, get out. You heard me. Don't look at me either. Five seconds is not enough for me. Five seconds, five Your seconds Honor. not enough for me, okay? I gotta have mine. Oh. This man was in the bedroom like, <laughs> I'm about to bust. My kings, there's nothing wrong with premature ejaculation. She just has a habit of coming too late. My kings, call your dick the truth. Because most women can't handle it. No, 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 Miss Sanchez, you and I'm both know it wasn't, well, I don't know. <laughs> okay, five let minutes. Me, let, let me five just minutes. restate that all together. You say that you can't get enough. Just, not, just can't get enough. And you also say he cheats on you with the computer. Explain how both of those things happen in I your home. I give him everything he wants, sexually, emotionally, everything. I even praise this man to tell him how good he is. But yet he's in his, in his, wherever, in his um, garage, I see now, he leaves his phone at home on time. I see naked pictures that he sent this woman of his... Mr. And Gibson, I did, she are sent you sending some. other women naked pictures? Your Honor, yes, I, I did, but... You this, see? This is a female. He's got that at Just home, Your Honor. He's got that at home. Can I explain why, Your Honor? But, you know... There is no just, explanation hey, hey, for that. Hey, stop, stop. I just want to say this. 40 years old and you're sending naked pictures. I don't care when, why, or how. Why would you do something like that? This is that? a woman in a whole nother state. One night I go to work, work in graveyard. I come home, she leaves, goes to the store, and her phone goes off, and I pick it up and look. And it's text messages to her, one of her exes telling that I left and went to work and asking him if he wants to come by my house, Your Honor, the one I pay for that she lives in, that she doesn't help pay the bills in. Your Honor, her he, ex, how does that get to, to you day, sending naked pictures over the internet? What's good I don't for understand. the goose is good for the gander, well, right? Your Honor, I mean, that's not even right. That is not even right. He said to me, does that even before I even text my ex-boyfriend. I can't, book. you know what? I don't even get Hey, stop it. The two of you are doing There's a saying that goes, men cheat accidentally because 99% of the time, 
We're just trying to bust a nut. But women, they cheat to hurt you. My friends just sent me pics of you cheating. Babe, every guy knows you have to cheat on your girlfriend at least once to see if you feel bad about doing it. And I do. Now I know we're actually soulmates. This is a new beginning for us, babe. Hey, my name's Aaron, and my girlfriend's friends all say I gaslight her, but they're literally all just crazy. My friends say you manipulate me. Babe, you're literally smarter than me. How could I manipulate you? Your friends are just jealous of what we have. My friends are always telling me that I can do better and I should just leave my girl, but I don't. But as soon as her friends say I'm a misogynist, she's thinking about leaving me. How can I be a misogynist? I literally paint my nails. They're also saying you're just using me for my body. I am. What the fuck? I'm using her for her body because she has a beautiful body. That's a compliment. I'm starting to think I'm the one really getting gaslit here. Fellas, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. One of the greatest things that we have on Earth. Necklaces. Tits. Tits. Oh. So I just got out of the gym and uh, this guy that I see in there all the time, he's got like tattoos all over him. He looks like super tough. And I've been working out for like probably a little over two years now maybe like at least in the gym anyways there's a lot of thoughts that go through your head being a bigger woman in the gym and I'm walking out of the gym just now and he goes hey I'm like oh my god here we go and he goes I can I've seen you in here every week every every almost every day like seeing you in here every week and i'm proud of you